Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offerman here with Airstream DMX and Airstream DMX Bridge video manuals. Today's our video is going to talk to you a little bit about how to connect the Airstream Bridge to the actual app. Right now I'm just using an iPad and this is the iPad 2, so it'll run even older devices. That's very simple. First thing you want to do is turn it on and you're going to see that it's already connected online. The default password is Airstream, all lowercase. You might possibly want to change that because as this product becomes more popular or more popular, you're probably going to run into somebody with the same one. And you don't have to worry about another person really getting into your network. But if you have two people with the same network with the same password, it's going to cause problems. So always change your password. And we're going to launch the Airstream app. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And it comes up. Now the first thing that you want to check is to make sure that it says that the Airstream bridge is responding. So that's good. Now we're going to go ahead and click on patch. When you click on patch, again, upper right hand corner, that turns into bridge. So let's go and look at the options here. First of all is if you want to enable Wi-Fi or not. Now if you are just going to hardwire your fixtures, go ahead and disable the Wi-Fi. Because disabling the Wi-Fi makes your traditional Wi-Fi network, aka your connection to your iOS device, a little bit stronger. So if you're not using Wi-Fi, disable it. But the next one is your channel. One of the really nice things about this particular program is that it takes a snapshot. This isn't a live view, it's a snapshot. But it just shows you how busy your network is. Now I can see there's something on uh, network on the channel too where I'm currently at. So if I want it to be even cleaner, I might go to zero or one. It's really hard to tell but there's also something on six. But I will leave it at two for now. And the same thing down below. So our network, we have our ADJ Airstream DMX. Again, in case somebody buys another Airstream and they don't change any info on it, you don't want your system connecting to theirs or vice versa. So go ahead and change that. And whatever you name it, I would just call it no internet. So even though it's password protected, you don't have somebody trying to get into it. And of course, your password. Change that password. Now on the channel. Again, same thing, you'll see that it's very clean here, and even though I have a 2.4 gigahertz router, it doesn't, or next to me, it, I don't use it that much, so that's why it's very low signal there. I use the most, use the 5.4, so I'm going to keep it like it is there. Now, one of the things the development team for Airstream recommends is to have the channels as far apart as possible. So if I have, up oh, there it goes right there, see? Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi, everything continuously changes. So you always want to check it a couple of different times. So there's clearly a lot more on the bandwidth for the Wi-Fi versus Wi-Fi. But anyhow, you always want to have it. So right now, you know, 2 looks pretty busy. That could also be because I have a Wi-Fi transceiver that's currently plugged in. But let's say we move it down to 14, and we choose 14 because that's the most open one. Then we want to go the lowest number. So we want to have these as far apart as possible just for the best performance results. If they have to be on the same channel for one reason or another, it's not that your system's going to crash. I've ran it with no issue. But again, the further apart, the better. We also have the bridge firmware. This is basically so you can put uh, the bridge into bootloader. It allows you to plug it into USB to update the firmware. To my knowledge, you do not update the firmware to this via iOS. You actually plug it into your computer. That is why there's a USB port right here. And now let's go back over here. Now you're going to see the lock. This is really cool. Go ahead and you put in a password and we'll lock it in. It's going to give you a warning. And now you can't do anything but trigger scenes and shows. Again, this is known as kiosk mode, and it's great for rentals. If you have DJs, you don't want them to mess with it, or restaurants, clubs, whatever the case may be, it's a real easy way of doing it. When you're ready to unlock it, just click the unlock button. Goodness, you know my password now, and you are good to go. So again, we now just connected the Airstream bridge into the Airstream DMX program. Whether you're using an iPad or iPhone or whatever iOS device, the setup process is the same. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to leave a comment, any questions, requests, whatever the case may be. Thank you again. Have a good night and God bless.